I was a student at Susquehanna, 1957 to 1961. Um, at the end of my sophomore year, the physics professor retired for his third time, and so I and two other physics majors went over to Dean Rooning and President Weber's office with our catalog and said, here are the physics courses we need next year, where are you going to get our teacher for us? And so they hired three Bucknell faculty members who each came down and taught one course each. And Dean Rooning came down to the Weiss Market store where I was working and uh, said, Marv, I hired a physicist for you. And that's when Freddie Gross got hired. And uh, then when Fred showed up, I proceeded to tell him he better be kind to me because I knew where all the physics lab equipment was and he would need me to get all that stuff out for him from time to time. Uh, the first day of my senior year, uh, turns out that uh, a football coach math teacher uh, died of a massive heart attack Blair Heaton died of a massive heart attack the first five minutes of class. So the next day, myself and two other senior math majors taught freshman college algebra that fall. Wow, so and then, you were teaching a class while you were a student. Well, I was a student here. And then three weeks later, a high school principal that had been moved out of being principal and uh, was given some math courses to teach died of a heart attack, so the local high school hired me to teach two more math courses. So fall semester I was teaching one college, two high school courses and taking 18 hours here as a student. And I had my best grades ever because my life was planned in 15 minute intervals. Got up at six in the morning, had everything all prepared, and went to each of my classes, hopped in my car, Drove over to Sealands Grove and uh, taught my classes there, came back, and then we did the college algebra class in the afternoons and evenings there after five o'clock. And so that, it was, you know, six in the morning till about 10 at night each day. And uh, made long days, but I, matter of fact, when I turned in the number of hours of student teaching, <laughs> I probably set a record of anybody in Pennsylvania because I had all the hours of teaching here and at Sealands Grove and then my real student teaching in the spring yet too. So. Well, uh, the next semester the local high school wanted me just to continue teaching. I said, no, you need to hire a full-time teacher and I said, and I need to do my student teaching in physics, which I had been signed up to do. <clears throat> I was a double major in physics and math, and so I did my uh, <clears throat> student teaching in physics that term then as well. And uh, then I taught one year of mathematics at, at Middleburg seventh grade. And then I went to Bowling Green, 62 to 64, and got a master's in mathematics there and then came back to Susquehanna in 64 and taught here 64 to 67 <clears throat> and that's why I decided to come back for the 68 class's 50th reunion because they were freshmen in my calculus course when I was teaching here in 64. Oh, Matter of fact I have a picture here of a young lady who um, didn't uh, didn't show yet, and none of her classmates here know who she is, but it's a, what a picture of her wearing the blue hat that she had stolen from me, and uh, she uh, mailed the hat and the picture to me in 68 when I was teaching at Moravian College. And uh, so I'm trying to round up who she is. I looked in the yearbook and still couldn't get it there either. Then I left here in 67 and went down to Moravian College and taught there from 67 to 83. And after that I moved down to Messiah College 
in 83 and taught there until 2005. Where was your favorite place to teach? Oh, all three of them. It, it was fun each place. Here, here I would have arguments with Dean Rooney, and at Moravian, I used a lot of my energy to start a computer science major, and then at Messiah, I ran 25 five-day workshops in the summer to enrich college faculty teaching of mathematics. Well, the thing that I found is the longer I've been teaching, the more I learn to not be the teacher. I mean, I go into the room and I assign students to do various things, and the students then learn that they have to come to class prepared and they have to be able to think their way through processes and so forth. And as a result of all of that, I've had 19 students that have gone on and gotten PhDs and are now college teachers. And 165 math teachers that, uh, matter of fact, let's see, one of them is a grad in this class was uh, Steve Back, who was a uh, math student of mine here. So it's been fun. It's, it's always nice to go back and meet with people that I had had as students that have become teachers.